Hello everyone and welcome to Ira Tutorials. This is Aarti Naik and today we are going to see class 6th subject English unit 3 3.2 7 sisters English workshop. So in this video we are going to discuss about the question answers of this lesson. In my previous video already I have explained this lesson. You can see the link in description box. So let us start with question and answers. Present any one of the speeches given above. That means speeches related to seven sister. Any means above all the speeches are given by the seven sister. That means seven sister means seven different state. Out of them you can choose any one and that you can present in front of your class. Choose any one of the seven state and find more information about it. And prepare a leaflet or brochure to invite people to visit it. So here some pictures are there. With the help of pictures you can make the brochures. And you can make the uh, brochures or leaflet to make an advertisement. Tourism advertisement so that people can visit that place. Okay, One idea is given to you. Question number 3. From the passage find and write any two examples of following for example use of b so let us see i b means m is r etc okay so example is i am the board of clouds and another example is a popular dish is momos so here m and is are used in these sentences now, B th question number 3, B sentences containing must and can we have to write down. We have to find it from the text. The natural beauty here must be seen to be believed. Then another example of must, you must make it a point to visit the Buddhi Buddhist monasteries. Now, let us see sentences made with can. You can take the Japi and you can enjoy the cuisine. Okay, so these are the example, uh, these are the sentences of must and can. Now, sentences begin with don't. Don't miss the Namapada Tiger Project. Don't forget to visit the Ahom Palaces. Okay, then question number 4 is write a short speech for the state of Maharashtra. So, Maharashtra is the state of India in the western region of the country and is India's second most populous state and third largest state by area spread over 3,7712 kilometers it is, it is bordered by the Arabian Sea to the west and the Indian state of Karnataka, Telangana, Goa, Gujarat, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh and the Union Territory of Dadra and Nagar Haveli. It is also the world's second most populous sub-national entity. In, it has over 112 billion inhabitants and its capital Mumbai has a population around 18 million making it the most populous urban area in India. Nagpur hosts the winter session of the state legislature. Pune is known as Oxford of the East. Due to the presence of several well-known educational institutions. Maharashtra is one of the state of India. It is located in the western part of India. Mumbai is the capital of Maharashtra and it is also known as financial cap capital of India. There are many reasons to love Maharashtra. Maharashtra is third most significant state in India. Is wise. It is the second most populous state following Uttar Pradesh. If we talk about the population wise, Maharashtra has the Arabian Sea flowing on the western coast. The main river of Maharashtra are Godavari, Krishna. This state has many big cities like Mumbai, Pune, Aurangabad, Nashik, Nagpur etc. As we all know that Maharashtra is a very populated state, there are various types of community living there such as Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Jain, Bodhis, Sikh etc. People of Maharashtra are multilingual. They speak many languages like Hindi, Gujarati, English, Marathi, Kannada etc. 
so that is all about the english workshop of this lesson you have any query do write in comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel share it like it